Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, we've been working on this little bit of an eye here, and what we're going to do, if I can do this right and um, do this without ruining it, um, we're going to try to do, I, we did the top eyelid, and what we did was we went down a little, you should go a little further than the center of the eye, okay? So you want to do is just go down a little ways further, flip it around, and just dig that out. Let me do it back here for a second where I can see it with the light. So I can show you exactly how it's done. Okay. Now, what we have here is we have the eye, top eyelid done. So what you need to do is you need to um, sh shave a little bit off at the back here. Cut that out at the top, right there, okay, where it goes underneath that top eyelid, just like that. And a little bit over here too, a little bit on this side. You see how critical it is that your your knives are, are super sharp? Let me just take a look here for a second and make sure it's right. Yep, that's good. And what you want to do next is you're, we're going to do the bottom eyelid, so we're going to do that one next. So what you want to do is you want to take, do the same thing like you did for the top, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to go down a little ways here, just offset it a little bit from where this line is. Take your knife at an angle and just follow that around. Just like so, very carefully, okay? I have that tip in there pretty far. You can see it it was in about yay far as you can see with my finger here. And maybe that's a little further than it had to be, but what we'll do is we'll slowly slice this out, make a little V cut here, and take your time cutting this out. See it's coming out, see that? Alright. You don't ever want to pull it like I just did. You just want the knife to do the work. You want the knife to do the work. All right, all right, so that's our bottom eyelid. All right, we'll go right up there. We're gonna define that a little further, make that a little closer to the to the eye itself. But you get the idea of how to do that, okay? I already cut this eyeball out. I need to put the eyelid all the way around it. I'll do that offline. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you extend this section down a little further. See, he's looking down, folks, okay? When you cut this out, you're not cutting it straight across this this concave portion. You're cutting it down this you're cutting it down this way, not this way. All right. A normal duck that's looking straight ahead, uh, which he isn't. He's he's looking down. So you can see that's that's part of what he's doing when he sits on. We'll use this block here. When he's sitting there, he's he's looking. Um, let me put this down. He's looking down, okay? He's looking down into the water. So that's that's what we want to create. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. What I'll do is I'm going to make this a little bit finer, closer to the eye itself, because really that's not close enough to the eye. And I'll recut this. This is where the magnifying glasses come in real handy, folks. It really is well worth it. I, I shared with you the one that I have um, uh, clip-ons, and they are wonderful. They really are. Uh, but take your time, and then what you want to do is you want to blend this in. Okay, you want to take this, and you just kind of want to blend this into the body portion, to his head. All right. I know it's getting a little dirty from me using that strop. Oh, my. He's really messy. But we'll, we'll clean him up. And uh, we'll be back in a little while. I'm going to go ahead and do his other eye. And the other thing we're going to do is, we see this how this is in the back here? Um, I'm going to start laying out his feathering. Okay, now, really, baby ducks don't have that much feathering at all to them. So we're going to make some feathering right here. We're going to have this come up and around. We're going to just cut this out and maybe cut this out. We're not going to have it joined right together there maybe a little further up alright and then we're gonna actually put some feathering in like like this alright and another one and then a couple of short ones at the top so we'll get that all worked out how we wanna how we wanna put that together 
I'm going to clean him up because he's gotten a little dirty from uh, the the strop and me <laughs> demonstrating that. You can see how dirty that becomes. But we'll show you. You can clean that up very easily with some um, some uh, a little bit of water and, and um, uh, I'll come to it today. Clorox. Okay, so go ahead and do the other eye. So both eyes should be done. And then, oh, here we can do this. I didn't think of this. The bottom part of his bill. See, um, I took this, took off the um, the nasty marks here from the bandsaw. You want to do that all the way underneath here. Okay. You want to clean this all up underneath here. And it, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because what you need to do is find a knife that's kind of uh, short and you may want to use that slicing motion like I did in the past to clean that up and then uh, what I'm going to end up doing with this most likely because I want to take it a step further for you folks than just painting it the way it is without some feathering so we're going to do some feathering on him we're going to do some um, um, feathering and some wood burning on him and I'm the kind that will probably wood burn the whole thing. So this is going to take us a little longer. If you want to stop after we do the bill, and let me let me go. I'll come back for that. I'll, I'll explain what I'm going to do here. So the feet are basically done. The eyes will be completely done after I get the eyelids on the other side. And we're going to do a high gloss um, clear on them after we paint them. Uh, this little duckling is going to be like a yellowish brown. And... Uh, like a little baby duck and with yellow feet and, a, and, a, and an or, uh, orange feet and maybe a little orange bill, brownish orange bill on them. So we'll get together on that and let me come back in the next segment and I will finish up the bill. Okay, bye-bye.